just uh, realized that now with my new dreadlocks, I can't, like, my bun is so big. <laughs> I, can't, I can't sit on my ottoman with a bun in my hair because it hits the top of my van. Oh, ouch. Okay. This is a learning experience. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new to my channel, welcome. This video is essentially a day in the life of living in my minivan camper. But I'm splitting it into two parts because by the time I put together this first video, it was already like 13 minutes long and I hadn't quite gotten to the evening, nighttime portion yet. So we're going to do part one right here and stay tuned for part two. Like and subscribe. Let's get into it. For this video, I want you all to hear the raw sounds of everything that's going on, but I'm also going to voice over just a little bit. So the first thing I do every morning is take Winston out. Sometimes I'm awake before him, sometimes he wakes me up, but either way, the first thing he does is he stretches and he's ready at the door. So I leave my vampire cave and attempt to let the sun wake me up while Winston goes potty and poops and I assess the situation outside, make sure nothing's crazy, nothing got into my trash, all of that good stuff. So I just wait for Winston to get done with his business. It generally only takes about a few minutes. Then I will pick him up, put him in the van, and we will get ready for breakfast and coffee. Good boy. Is that tasty breakfast? Coming up? Good boy. Okay. Are you ready for your dental? Are you ready for your dental? Okay, let's get it. I make my coffee right here. My coffee things. I measure my water in my Yeti and then pour it into my kettle. I use, I just eyeball how much coffee I put in my pour over bags. Honestly, I could probably do a little bit more, but I don't use a scooper or anything anymore. I just kind of pour it in there and hope for the best. Today is actually a town day, which means that I will leave camp to go run some errands. When I leave camp, I generally keep most things set up because I camp in places where people are very respectful. There is not a ton of people around in general, and I camp where I feel safe, which means that I would feel safe leaving things like my rug, my chair, Winston's playpen, just those types of items behind. And that's whether or not I'm camping solo or with somebody else. I will leave more stuff out if I'm camping with somebody else. In this case, I was camping with Todd, so I could even leave my solar out and all sorts of stuff. But either way, I have to put away my stove, my coffee items, loosely make the bed. I need to take down my window shades and do some general organizing before Winston and I can hit the road. I should note that I can put my stove and my coffee stuff, I can do all of that inside the van, but I like to stretch and really get my body moving. Even though my minivan is set up to be very spacious, of course, we all need to get out and get our blood pumping. So Winston will take this time to go potty again, explore a little bit, get a whole bunch of sniffing in. And I like to go into town between any time between 10 and 11, but it also depends on the weather. So if I was stealth camping, this is stuff that I would do inside the van. 
but I'm boondocking, so I might as well take advantage of all the space I have and the fresh air. I consolidated my water. I had just maybe a gallon left in this, so I poured it in my shower bucket in my tent so I can fill up both of my three gallon jugs today when I go into town, as well as two of my one gallons. So I have that all set. I plugged in my rock pals power station because it's down to about 35 percent i haven't charged it <laughs> in a few days so i have that plugged in back here so that I can charge up as we're driving and i just barely made the bed on aaron's day when we're coming back to camp i don't worry about it too much just because winston kind of likes to go back and forth so that is set and i just make sure on town day that I have like all of my trash my list anything I need to do oh speaking of there's a trash bag and then I'll just kind of leave the rest of this stuff should be good to go to run errands our town day normally consists of the basics trash water food and then any extras. Like today, I need to go to a postal store to get stamps, get a lot of stamps, because <laughs> y'all are throwing in those sticker orders like it is nobody's business, tell you what. And I'm so grateful. So I need to go get stamps, and then I have a bunch of sticker orders ready to send out, so I will stamp them and then send them out while I'm in town. So we'll do that. We'll probably get some lunch and really just take our time today since it's going to be so hot. But I personally love town day. <laughs> I go every, depending on what I do or what I need or where my supplies are at, I go every like three to four days. Not because I necessarily always need to. I just want to. I like going into town just to like switch it up. So, um, yeah, okay, here we go. Kiddo and I just got back from town. I tried to waste as much time as I could just to be inside the, you know, the air conditioning in the van, but I didn't really have a ton to do. So it's about 2 p.m., a couple more hours of this 88 degree heat, but that's not bad. I'm going to take a shower. So y'all, guess what I bought? Bought me some drumsticks. I haven't purchased a pair of drumsticks in like 10 years. And if you don't know, if you don't know this about me, I've been playing the drums since I was five, <laughs> but I haven't sat at a set in probably six or seven years. Um, so I am filming. It's fine. <laughs> so um, I bought a pair and I'm excited because even though I obviously don't have a drum set in my van and I can't and it's not possible. My dad taught me how to play the drums by like I was literally five. Actually, it was probably before then, but like my earliest memories of him teaching me how to play was when I was five. 
and we'd be in Indiana in our house in the basement. My dad had like this huge entertainment center in the basement and we would just like sit on the floor and he would teach me to play on pillows with an adult set of drumsticks. So I've had a pair of sticks in my hand for the last 30 years and I figure why not just like play on my outdoor rug with like nothing. <laughs> I can just I can just play on pillows or my rug. So getting back to my roots. And it was fun to check out a music store uh, in the Marana area. I haven't been in a music store in a while. So I did that and I parked differently as I just arrived so I can get a little bit more shade on the side of my van since I took my awning down. It's gonna be super windy tomorrow. And now we will continue on with our day. Winston's lay laying on his cooling towel. He's happy camper in the shade. So this is what I mean when I switch the van. See how I have more shade on this side? Oh, because it is toasty. But I'm going to, even though I'm going to my mom's tomorrow, I'm going to take a shower today to rinse off because this sort of weather is pretty miserable to me. And I get hot and it's gross. So I'm going to take a shower to cool down. And... Yeah, just kind of moving some stuff around and doing what I need to do before the evening. It's about 3 p.m. Stuff's kind of everywhere, but I'll put away my shower tent and all of these goodies into my rooftop tent later today. And as usual, the day before camp, I will leave out my chair and Winston's playpen. The wind started to pick up right before I took my shower and I realized that on this new Wolfwise tent that I started using a couple months ago because my old one had finally ripped and kind of gotten destroyed after using it for three and a half years, um, I didn't put guidelines on this tent. So I had the guidelines all set, I just have to tie them on. So I got the one guideline on and then I realized that um, I kind of threw them in my tool bag and it is an absolutely tangled mess. Eventually you'll see here that I'm just going to give up on it for now because the wine, the one guideline will work just fine in this wind. Alright y'all, we are going to wrap up part one of this part two series and we will cover the evening and nighttime routine next time. Thank you guys so much and I will see you later.